Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Teen Corner. My name is Miss Rachel and today we're going to be talking about two books I'm going to be highlighting. The first one is called Moon Cakes. It's a graphic novel by Wendy Zhu and the second one is called Ghost Wood Song and that is by Erica Waters. Okay, so Mooncakes is actually about a young witch named Nova who is Chinese American coping with the loss of her parents and she's living with her two grandmothers. Nova works at her grandmother's uh, spell book shop where they loan and sell books and it's a bookshop that's set actually in New England. One night after hearing a report about a white wolf in the forest, she sets out to investigate to see what that's all about. And when she goes to the forest, she discovers the white wolf is actually her childhood crush named Tam, and she's come back to battle a demon in the shape of a horse. Now, this is a, it's a really cute story. Like I said, it's a graphic novel, and it's a it's a quick read it's a cute diverse lgbtq graphic novel about magic and witches and two young adults just trying to learn who they are so like i said if you enjoy graphic novels and cute reads i highly recommend this one so the second book is called Ghostwood Song, and that's by Erica Waters. And on the back it says, A Fiddle Made of Secrets, A Song to Raise the Dead. And I'm gonna read you a quick excerpt. I raise my fiddle and breathe into the quiet, my eyes closed in concentration. Daddy always said twilight was good for ghost raising because it's an in-between time when the barrier between worlds seems to grow thin as tissue paper and the ghosts are at their lonesomest. And that's just from the first few pages of this book. So let me ask you something. If you had the power to summon ghosts from the beyond, would you do it? That is the question that this book is trying to answer. It's about a 16 year old girl named Shady Grove. She lives in a very rural part of Florida with her mom, stepdad, and two siblings in a small trailer home. And her home is surrounded by dirt roads and a dark spooky forest in her backyard. So it really sets the tone for the book for sure. Her dad passed away about four years ago in a car accident and Shady has these vivid memories and these vivid dreams about him and she actually sometimes thinks she still hears him playing the fiddle and these sounds that come from the forest so she's trying to kind of figure out if her dad is trying to tell her something from beyond the grave. When her dad played his special fiddle, ghosts arose and appeared from the dark shadows. And Shady can remember being as young as six years old and seeing some of these ghosts and shadow people lurking in the corners of her home. So when her brother is accused of murder, she has to decide if she's gonna go find her father's fiddle play it to summon the spirits to see if she can get answers about what really happened from beyond the grave. If you enjoy creepy, spooky ghost stories, as do I, then I highly recommend this book and it's the perfect story for the fall Halloween spooky season that we're coming up on. So that concludes my two book talks. Again, Ghostwood Song, 
and Moon Cakes. And as always, if you're interested in either of these books, please feel free to give us a call at Morley Library, and we would be happy to put them on hold for you. Thank you again for watching, and happy reading!